The gastrocnemius muscle. The gastrocnemius is the largest and most superficial muscle in the calf region. It's typically active during activities such as jumping, walking up steep grades, and going up or down stairs. It's typically inactive while standing and generally contributes little or no push-off force during ordinary walking and running. The landmarks for the gastrocnemius include the femur, the fibula, the calcaneus, otherwise known as the heel bone, and the tibia. The origin of the gastroc muscle is on both the medial and lateral femoral condyles and it inserts on the posterior surface of the calcaneus through the Achilles tendon. Let's take a closer look at the gastroc. Contraction of this muscle produces plantar flexion of the foot at the ankle, and it also helps with knee flexion. The soleus is a synergistic muscle to the gastrocnemius during plantar flexion because of its common insertion through the Achilles tendon and the hamstrings are a synergistic muscle during knee flexion. The tibialis anterior is antagonistic to the gastrocnemius during plantar flexion, and the quadriceps group is antagonistic during knee flexion. Here are the clinical findings for the gastrocnemius trigger points. Dr. Travell refers to this muscle as the calf cramp muscle, so most clients will complain of nocturnal calf cramping and pain in the calf, the back of the knee, and the instep part of the foot. Some activating factors for gastrocnemius trigger points include chilling the muscle, walking or jogging up a steep slope or uneven surface, walking or jogging in sand, prolonged immobilization by a walking cast after an injury, tight-fitting socks or garters, wearing high heels, plantar flexion of the foot during sleep, S1 radiculopathy, and a vitamin E deficiency that causes cramps. The soleus and hamstring trigger points are associated with gastrocnemius trigger points, and the referred pain from the posterior gluteus minimus trigger points will typically activate trigger points in the gastrocnemius. Clients with active trigger points in the gastrocnemius muscle are typically misdiagnosed with S1 radiculopathy, Achilles tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, growing pains, and intermittent claudication.